Hey, I'm Al McGee here at your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. Hey, the film I just saw is called The First Purge. Well, this is the first Purge movie not to be directed by James DeMonico, but he wrote the script. And this is directed by Gerald McMurray. You've seen some of his work before, like Fruville Station, things like that. Well, you know, this is a very good film. It seems to be racist, but it has a good story to tell. You know, the first purge, they have this new organization that's been voted into office. You know, like Democrat, Republican. Now they call the NFFA. Uh, kind of like Trump supporters. That's what it seems to be like. And I don't know if this is a voice about Trump or what's going on in the country today, but it is about black people, brown people, and poor people, and how the economy is bad, and how they need to eliminate people that uh, are broke, can't make no money, and who cannot get into the American dream. They cannot achieve the goals of the American dream. Now, Dimitri, which is played by Yilan Noel, he's a drug dealer. And he's the top drug dealer in that neighborhood where they start the first purge. Now, the NFFA, they use an architect called Dr. Updell, which is played by Marissa Tome. I hardly recognize her in this film, but her voice and everything, that truly is her. Well, she designed the plan to create the purge. And, you know, people started to believe in it. So they say, hey, let's do it, but only in a, a certain area. And that certain area was where poor, brown, black people lived. And as the Night of the Purge goes on, more and more people starts to participate, even though the NFFA paid people money to participate in it. And another character in this is called Nia. She's a young lady who used to date Dimitri. But now she's trying to do the right thing and take care of her brother, Isaiah. Isaiah tries to follow Dimitri, but, you know, he wants to keep him out. What I mean is Dimitri wants to keep Isaiah out of the game and trying to get him on the right path to go the right way. Well, this film has other different characters, too. This film seems to be trying to say what's currently going on today in our world here in the United States, trying to eliminate poor people trying to prevent other poor people coming in this country, also trying to eliminate them, trying to make the economy better. In other words, they're trying to say less is more. I got that in this film, at least that's what I saw. Not only that, I saw some racism in this film where they really just concentrated on black and brown people in this film for the first purge. But they've already always done that before, the government testing things on brown and black people in the past, look it up. Now, this film was very exciting, had a few jokes here and there, but the most serious thing about this film is, can this really happen? Can this really go on in real life? And that's why I enjoyed this film, because it made me feel the reality of it, even though it's a film, it's a drama, and it's not real. I say The First Purge is very exciting to watch, I really enjoyed the characters in it. I enjoyed the story in it. Not only that, I enjoyed the actors in it too because they seemed to be very believable in their parts that they played and they truly understood what needed to go on in this story to make this story complete. Now this, this movie is less than two hours long, but I'm glad of that because I was truly thrilled and shocked at this film, The First Purge. It's one of the best ones out of the series I've seen so far. So I'm giving this three palm trees out of four. That means it's a B grade, but it means that it's entertaining and you will enjoy. Or well, let's put it like this. I enjoyed it. See it for yourself and see if you will enjoy. And also see what messages it's sending to you. So I hope my review was entertaining. I'm Al McGee. I want to thank you for watching me and i really appreciate it come on back again we are your entertainment ticket that's right Yaki -tiki we are your entertainment ticket that's right